welcome to day three of Vlogmas. I can't believe I've actually managed to do this for three whole days. Normally I would have flaked out by now. So I was really stumped for what to talk about today because my planned interview with the lovely wife has to be put on hold. She's not very well. Um, but I'm sure I will get a chance to introduce you to her at some point this weekend. If nothing else, I'm going to just like stick a camera in her face when I do more general day in the life sort of vloggy stuff that I can't do when I am working from home. So today I decided I want to talk about kind of what I'm working on craft wise and an event I'm taking part in called Fasten Off. So for a bit of background, um, for those that aren't part of the knitting or crochet community, um, one of the biggest websites, sort of database slash social media presence in this community is called Ravelry. And last year they launched a new version of the website that a lot of people were very unhappy with because it had major accessibility issues. Since that time, they have made some changes to make the website more accessible. Um, but the main issues were it was um, using poor design around those who have vision issues and those that have epilepsy. Um, so a lot of um, flickering and fastly moving uh, images um, and play them being placed in ways that couldn't be skipped, that didn't have a pause button. Um, the autoplay, that sort of thing that's considered bad epilepsy practice. There are some articles and reports out there um, if you want to uh, read into it further, um, but there were definitely accounts of people having seizures and other incidents of issues after using the site. I was certainly found the website, particularly the forum section and the changes they made to that, um, were very difficult on my eyes even when wearing my glasses where I would normally not have any problem at all um, and it was the only site that I was experiencing this from so um, they were getting lots of user reports um, of these issues and then they just doubled down and basically called anyone that said they were getting issues liars and that they just didn't like the changes um, to like the presentation um, or the logo um, and basically it was it was a sort of PR nightmare they would constantly lock down any thread delete any comments people left on their other social medias anytime anyone tried to bring it to their attention there was an open letter signed by um, users and designers basically the website um, is kind of a, a mix of a, a forum a yarn and um, pattern database and uh, because of the pattern database they also uh, allow for designers to uh, place ads on the website and to sell their patterns through them so there was this big push for people to leave the website this led to the event known as fasten off so uh, that's kind of a pun off a knitting term basically com completing your project uh, fastening off um, the ends and this has happened again this year. Yarn designers that make their patterns available through websites that aren't Ravelry offer a discount code to people that purchase their patterns and use the this year's code. And uh, everyone's encouraged to post um, projects that they have completed or are working on for this year and with the potential of winning some prizes and obviously and raising awareness of accessibility issues were still on Ravelry and the wider uh, knitting, crochet and all sort of yarn based worlds. With all of this in mind, I am taking part in this year's Fasten Off. I am not a designer myself. Um, it is something I'm very interested in, but my brain just never got round to doing that and I'd feel like I'd want to come up with some uh, free patterns and test things out before I ever considered about uh, making any purchasable 
um, in order to then require that you would use the fasten off discount maybe in another year um, but for this year i'm taking part as a knitter um, so i wanted to show you the project that i'm working on at the moment so i only started this a couple of days ago uh, but we are starting on a cowl this one is the turn around cowl so this cowl is designed by red and the wolf designs so you'll probably see some instagram posts of the cowl as it's getting along because we've just started getting to the point of uh, a pattern to it but i've also got a blanket on the go that is sort of modular construction so one sort of square added to it at a time and it is my working on stuff in front of the tv knitting um, and i'm hoping to get it to sort of bedspread size again because the way it's constructed just finish at the end of a uh, row of squares and call it a day if i decide no actually it's going to be like a lap row or um a, one of those runners you have at the end of the bed so we'll see how that goes i do also have another scarf on the go um but it has been at least six months since i actually touched it um, so I'm not really counting it as an active project. Similarly, I started on a headband because I got a shiny new knitting book, but it is barely started. So there's only really the two projects that I count and that I'm actively working on. In regards to my other craft stuff, I've basically decided, currently attempting to lose weight and I'm actually being successful for once that I'm not going to be making any more clothes or costumes for a while. So I'm mostly cutting back on sewing projects unless they are accessories of some kind um, or gifts. Just because um, having seen that the uh, knitted wrap jumper that I showed off yesterday um, is already slightly too big. I don't want to put in a bunch of time, effort and money um into making something that i'm potentially only going to be able to wear for a few months hello we have a guest um so the last craft thing i wanted to talk about was uh resin work which is the other main hobby i have um i did just buy a bunch of supplies in the black friday sale but uh i haven't got anything specific that i'm wanting to make just yet Should we make you clothes? Make you fancy clothes for Christmas? No, that didn't go down well. Enjoy your evening and I shall see you all tomorrow.